I had just turned 50. I thought, I better start being a nice person. Kind of like why old people start reading the Bible, like they're cramming for their finals. So I went into Starbucks, drinking my unfair trade coffee, thinking how I could help the downtrodden, when a guy sits down beside me and begins playing a noisy game on his cell phone. I try to block him out. I try to focus on good things, on Bono and Bob Geldof. Who's cuter, Bob or Bono? Bob, Bono. But the guy kept beeping, and I kept getting more irritated. In fact, I started to question how I was ever going to deal with warlords if I couldn't handle a few beeps from a cell phone. See, I have a fantasy that as I close in on the equator, I would undergo a massive personality change. I would be able to live in a hut. One with plumbing, I hope. I wouldn't be peeing in a hole, would I? I mean, Mother Teresa did that. She was always a bit of an extremist, making the nuns live like the poor. They were already nuns, for heaven's sakes. Hadn't they given up enough? Anyway, I got so riled up about that poor, dead, celibate nun that it made me passionate. So I went home and tried to make love to my husband. But he wasn't in the mood because we're divorced and his new wife, she didn't like that. Anyway, then I realized I was probably going to die alone. So I had an anxiety attack. So I went to the emergency room, got labeled urgent, which isn't as fast as it sounds. I sat there so long someone asked if I was an organ donor. As I was sitting there, this nice lady, a volunteer, gave me some coffee and she told me she had been with the Ladies Auxiliary for 30 years. She said things had changed in that time, that now they have to do a police check. But it didn't seem to bother her. She said they can do a cavity search for all I care, because I haven't gotten in to see a doctor in months. So I thought, hey, I could help at a hospital. Oh, no, not where people were bleeding or complaining or throwing up because puking makes me gag. Plus, I was a candy striper as a kid, and this guy asked me to sponge bath him. Something about a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Never mind. I was 13. What did I know? I tired myself out, thinking about how I could help. So I ended up just going home. And as I was exiting, a very disturbed woman stormed past me. And the security guard picked her up, put her out on the street. And all she wanted was her meds. But that woman might have been having a bad day. But one thing is certain. She's certainly more resourceful than me. She stood out in the ambulance bay, took off all her clothes. And believe me, when you stand buck naked in the ambulance bay, you get service at a hospital. In fact, they bring the drugs right out to the street.